Chaim's small pleasures in life, telling her about the memories he brought back from his journeys. He felt some degree of salvation, however slight. Five years, ten years, his friendship with the girl continued. Little by little, he neared adulthood. She neared adulthood, which meant that, as doctors had predicted, each day brought her that much closer to death. And now, Kaim ends the last travel story he will share with her. He could never see her again. Could never tell her stories again. Before dawn, when the darkness of night is at its deepest, long pauses enter into Hannah's breathing. The frail thread of her life is about to snap as Kaim and her parents watch over her. The tiny light that is lodged in Kaim's breast will be extinguished. His lonely travels will begin at Again tomorrow, his long, long travels without end. You'll be leaving on travels of your own soon, Hannah, Kaim tells her gently. You'll be leaving for a world that no one knows, a world that has never entered into any of the stories you've heard so far. Finally, you will be able to leave your bed and walk anywhere you want to go. You'll be free. He wants to, her to know that death is not sorrow, but a joy mixed with tears. It's your turn. Be sure and tell everyone about the memories of your journey. Her parents will make that same journey someday. And someday Hannah will be able to meet all the guests she has known at the end, far beyond the sky. I, however, can never go there. I can never escape this world. I can never see you again. This is not goodbye. It's just the start of your journey. He speaks his final words to her. We will meet again. His final lie to her. Hannah makes her departure. Her face is transfused with a tranquil smile as if she had just said soon her eyes will never open again a single tear glides slowly down her cheek Uh, Kane's mind still allows memories past certain sites, can say some memories from the dreams, episodes, start menu. Ah. As you can see, each one of those stories is, that was one of the, sh that was a shorter story. A lot of them are really, really really long, so I'm not going to read them all, because they're so long. Alright, uh, hi there. Do you have anything I can steal, sir? I'd be, I'd be re mad if someone just walked their, into my room. I'd end it in. Uh, but that was, that was a very sad, moving story. I especially liked the part about Walmart. It was good. Poor Hannah. Cry, cry, cry. I remember... I I never beat this game. So I, I got cock-blocked at this tank battle near the end. Oh, man. I couldn't beat it no matter what I did. 
could not beat it. Yeah, a uh, tank, not a tank battle, tank battle. There's a tank, there's this tank boss and I just could not beat it. I, I just could not beat it, it was so hard, yeah. Very interesting. Yes, cock block by a tank. Angels boom. It's always worth it to explore and find all the stuff that's hidden around. These items are some of them are expensive. Holy night charm. Whip. Increases magical and physical defense during critical HP status. Better than nothing. Uh, skill. That's right, we get. One thing that Japanese RPGs don't really tend to ever be focused on is gear. Having gear in a Japanese RPG just seems rare. Usually they only have like one or two slots. Whereas most Western RPGs tend to have. Gear tends to be the star of the show. It's all about getting the gear. Yeah. That's one thing I like about. I like collecting gear. This is me. Did you sleep well? No message for you yet, I'm afraid. We hold any message to come for you here. So please, I must say, take a stroll outside. I'm sure you won't forget the. Don't forget the horrors of the battlefield. Oh, by the way, feel free to use any of the items you find here. They are compliments of the house. Why would you hide stuff in plant and plant containers and stuff? What am I doing at the back door? None of your business. Yeah, sometimes I forget whose voice was who, so bear with me. Better than silence. <laughs> Yeah. Very gear centric. There are some. It just seems like a lot of them just don't do gear for some reason. I don't know why. I like gear. Some do. There's always an exception to the rule. Oh, sorry. Oh, look out. Sorry, miss. Oh, God, not this guy. supposed to tell you to go to his manor. He has something important to, to tell you. You are? <coughs> Jansen, messenger for Lord Gangora. <laughs> At your service. Man, what an attitude. Jeez whiz. Love his dress. Uh, He's got a very nice dress on, doesn't he? <laughs> Wait, where is his manor? Uh, maybe this way? Uh, yes, uh, that happens randomly, Cake Lover. Thank you for that, though. Yeah, the front, the homepage, when there's not a tournament going on, they put random streamers up there. Sometimes, sometimes you'll see my channel or other channels on there. They put the popular channels, and as a charity act, sometimes put my channel on there. Like, 
Alright, we'll give this damn guy a, a break. Keto power is activated! No. Alright, I'll let you guys decide. Story time or no story time? I warn you, these are long. These are long. I'm talking about 20 minutes. Shout story time in the chat if you want story time. Or no if you don't want it. Kind of split down the middle. <laughs> okay. I'll skip this one, but we'll do the next one. We'll do every other one. So that way it's not breaking up the story too much. Because there's a lot of them, so don't worry. We'll do the next one. Is this a ball? Why is there a random ball? Do do. Moderator. Kitty! Make sure you're pay paying attention. Healing medicine obtained. There's. What the hell is that? Dad. Well. We'll do one once in a while. We'll do like every other one, because they are long. They are very long. Don't worry, if you want to watch them on later, I will put them on YouTube, so you, well, you can read them yourself if you want. Because I can access them at any time. I don't do them right away. Yeah. What's over this way? And some of the stories are really good, some are not as good as others. Like that first one's a good one that we read. The Hannah one. Hannah Lecter? No, not Hannah Lecter. Hello. Hot. Got all this free loot everywhere. There's pots everywhere as well as stuff. Dun, dun. Ah, I know. <laughs> Dramatic story time with me. Well, goodbye, Quag Kiss. Hello, doggy. So I gotta head to that one guy's, uh, that one guy's, uh, manor. I don't know where it is exactly. I don't seem to have quest markers in this. If you do play this game, I'd recommend... Oh, there it is, Gongora's Mansion. Okay, so I did find it. Uh, if you're gonna play this game, I recommend installing it to the hard drive, all four discs, because if you don't, there are pretty lengthy install load times if you do not. Like, we're talking like every battle. Kind of a thing. Very generous with the save points. Like every battle, I like, can take up to 30 seconds to a minute to load. Whereas if you install it, it's like 15 seconds so per battle, so it's not as bad. Still there though. I wonder if they're if this company is making a Wii U uh, RPG. Can we play the last story? Was the last story any good? I've heard I've heard mixed things about it. House arrest is going too far. I have firmly opposed Roxian on this. 
Do not despair, Gongora. Thank you, Your Majesty. It is much more than I could have asked. Your father would have been pleased. I could never fill my father's shoes. And now that Ura is a Republic, I am simply a citizen like everyone else. I am no longer Your Majesty. I respect the royal blood that flows in your veins. It is only fitting that I offer the respect you're due. Do not be foolish. People will think you're a dissident who wants to restore the monarchy. I'm truly happy that you have come to see me. You've always been so kind. You taught me the rudiments of magic. I cannot help but be kind to you in return. I cannot understand Roxian. I believe he intends to stop work on Grand Staff. It makes me angry, Gongora. Our entire nation has benefited from magic energy, yet he does not understand the significance of Grand Staff. If we can increase magic energy with Grand Staff, just think how much better our people's lives would be. We would no longer need soldiers. You have seen the future of Ura, and how Grand Staff can make it happen. Roxian's vision is too narrow for our nation to grow. I am sorry you had to witness that. There is no need to apologize. I'm happy your Highness understands. But even if they stop Grand Staff, we could develop a newer and far better magic engine. Please let me know what you need, Gongora. I can help you. I am unworthy, Your Highness. See that? That was a hair battle right there. But girl, my hair is better than yours. Mm -mm. Please go in. If you guys are inter interested, sometime I did. Um, I I've got these but never played them yet. Is these two games? If you guys want me to stream them sometime? Xenoblade and The Last Story. I never played them. Might might try them out sometime on stream. Hi there. Lord Gongora is waiting in the study of the second floor. You can take the lift up to the central laboratory. Definitely probably gonna do Xeno before um, X comes out on Nintendo. Yes. Yes, my hair is the best. I didn't really lose my hair, just relocated to my balls and my face, so. It's still there. Just in disguise. What is in here? Magic Research Lab? <laughs> this looks very sexual to me. I don't know. That's just me. I mean, that's my immature humor seeing it there, but. Seed obtained? What these things are for? One on this side. Another one. All this free loot everywhere. Going up. And I'll be getting Pandora's Tower as well. I but Oh, sorry. <sighs> that woman. How could she be an Ura without me knowing? What? I was lucky. I managed to buy Xenoblade Chronicles um, from GameStop when it was brand new. And it was 50 bucks. And now I look at 
Xenoblade Chronicles is so rare now that it's like a hundred dollars or more on eBay and everywhere. So I'm glad I got that picked this up. Good, you're here. I asked you here for only one reason. Hold on. What is it? Oh, oh no. Great, here he comes. <gasps> oh my god. Hey, whoa, 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 hey! Hey, you are really short-tempered. Hey, I don't have a sword, okay? Easy. Why are you here? Boyer. I told you, I'm just a messenger. I, I came to see if you really come or not, which you have, so that's good. That's enough, Kaim. He's on our side. <laughs> Thanks. A little late, though. We can use him. He's cunning and quick, and he has many connections. I want you to take him on your investigation of Grand Staff. No way, sir. You know I thought he'd say that, my lord. <laughs> His shoes, hello? Look, this other immortal joining the investigation, she might be dangerous. Why? The woman was once a pirate. I don't know how it happened, but she's now a soldier for our army. Well, the past is the past, and I know little else about her. Take Jensen with you. He can help keep her in check. Despite what else he may be, he has a healthy respect for women. Ah. Because he is so, one. You know, I heard she was a looker, if you catch my drift. I mean, you've seen her, right? Okay, okay, be that way. <sighs> you guys are way too serious. Hmm. Pirate. Arr! All right. Understood. All right, then. I'll be there early. Oh, yeah. You can count on it. Remember, Kaim. You're the only one I can trust. I can't leave here for a while. The Grand Staff is my life's work. So if something is wrong, I want you, with your immortal powers, to find out what it is. Understood? You'll be briefed later. You should go now. I'll be right behind you. Uh, Kain, put some armor on that lower back. Oh, he's gonna be fun to work with. This is for your trouble. Wow, nice. You know, my lord, I've been thinking, uh, working with this guy, uh, it's like playing with fire. I mean, did you see his eyes? I mean, that's creepy. I got a bad feeling about this whole thing. I mean, this little guarantee is not gonna be enough, I'm afraid, to keep an eye on him. You're gonna have to give me a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. You're already under a magic contract. Don't get greedy. Wow! Whoa, hey, okay, that's some serious mojo. <laughs> easy, easy. Is your fee still unsatisfactory? Okay, not funny. I'm not laughing, okay? I didn't stick my neck out for this, okay? Jeez, everyone's a pain in the ass. I'm taking a bath. <laughs> I'm taking a bath. <laughs> That's what I do when I get angry. I take a bath. Man. Any other free loot, loot containers anywhere? Anything back here? <laughs> I'm taking a damn bath. You can't stop me. Man, look at all this loot. Flare bomb. Uh, Berserker necklace. Hawkeye. I'll play this game in chunks. It's kind of long. We'll probably break it up with something else. Yeah, I think I'll finish this though on stream. It's gonna take a while. This game's pretty lengthy. It's like at least 40 plus hours, but just focus on the main quest. God, that pump in action. That is sexy. Let's go out over here. Hmm. 
Alright, run this way. Run, 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 run. Lieutenant Agnon, do you have everything you need for your journey? You should prepare yourself well, so you meet better fulfill the expectations, Lord Gangora. Having you come in and out of here could damage Lord Gangora's reputation. The council won't look kindly on it. You won't be allowed to re-enter the mansion once you leave. Are you sure you want to leave? I, I think I'm okay. I can go in once, but not constantly? Why? What is the hell's wrong with me? Why not? It's stupid. I should be able to come and go as much as I please. Run, 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 run. God, he moves so fast. It's like the Flash. Lord Gangora faps when his guests leave? Kiss his hand again. Oh. Hello. Hey. I've been looking everywhere for you. I heard about the Grand Staff investigation. Looks like we both got the short end of the stick. It's not enough that we just keep surviving, eh? Upskirt. <laughs> There's always something. Was that necessary? So, what did you learn in the council? Nothing to do with you. Oh, really? Say, haven't we met somewhere before? Hmm? Ugh. Nothing to worry about if you can't remember. Neither can I. You too, huh? I can't recall a thing. All I know is that my name seems to be Seth Balmore. People say I used to be a pirate. Arr! <sighs> Isn't it strange that both of us lost our memory and are immortal? <laughs> Maybe we met a long time ago. I sort of get that feeling when I look at you. Hmm. When we met before, were we enemies? Or allies? Or maybe even... Lovers? Or sisters. <laughs> Looking forward to starting our journey tomorrow, Kaim Arganar. Tomorrow? You still haven't been contacted by the Council? You set out for Grand Staff tomorrow morning. I thought you would have heard by now. Oh, and by the way, I'll be joining you on your little trip. So you are going with me then? Being late is strictly forbidden. Who are you showing off for? No one here is impressed. Anyone here impressed? I'm not impressed. You know what she reminds me of? Kind of, uh, Captain Kirk. I am Captain Kirk, always making sudden movements when I speak up, because I am... Like, every Japanese anime person always says, such dramatic movements when they do anything. It's just like, act normal. Jeez. You're not impressing anyone here with your dramaticism. Uh, all right. Let's kick this ball. All right. Uh, got here. <laughs> all right. We're we're finally about to get ready back into battle for a while. And it's battle, battle, battle. Thank you, Mr. Villain. I appreciate that. Um... Where? Am I supposed to go to the council? That's what they hinted at? Or it's supposed to sleep? Let me try the council. Actually, what's that red dot right there? Oh, it's a save point. Hello. Do I talk to you? Probe the dog again. 